tell I was working out and it is a struggle for me but I'm going to persevere because I have a wedding I need to go to in a few months and that dress will be fitting anyway while I was working out I was listening to an audible book it's part of the dark corners collection a series of short stories that I found on Amazon it's a series of horror heart stopping thriller type books just i don't know the first book just didn't didn't resonate with me too much but anyway the tangled woods is the book and it's about reginald who is this very flawed guy that's going through a midlife crisis where he pretty much seems like he hates everything and he's taking his family to big bear lodge one of those indoor water park type places and while he's there there's some events that happen that cause him to kind of rethink his life so you know it's an okay book just not something for me and original really really pissed me off i'm gonna get myself together and go to the library because i got some goodies i gotta pick up So I decided to give the Dark Corner collection one more shot and I listened to There's a Giant Trapdoor Spider Under Your Bed. And it's basically about a group of kids with an active imagination that create all these creatures for a story to entertain themselves. And I couldn't get into it. I just felt like it was just a bit juvenile, but it was a bit entertaining. You know, they're making up these stories up on the spot as well as these characters so it was interesting in that aspect but i just could not get into it so i am going to dnf the other five books in the dork corner collection officially um but i did get my books from the library and i don't have time today i gotta go run out but i will show you them tomorrow Mm. <laughs> gotta get some perfume and smell good for this video here <laughs> okay so i have my library haul let's get to my little stack here okay so we have the light chaser this is a sci-fi novel i actually read this last night it's about emily who is a light chaser which is a synthetically altered human that travels along the universe picking up memory collars. And while she's looking at these memory collars, she realizes there's this person that keeps popping up in different centuries and on different planets. And the person has a message to her about saving humanity. So a really good book. It's a quick read. It had a whole lot of technological sci-fi stuff in it. Just <laughs> over my mind for the first chapter but once I got past that it was a good read it had some stuff in there but you know you can decipher through it I think Emily was a strong character and she was smart planets and stars that she encounters are very unique I think that they are detailed very well you go from the most primitive environment to very very high tech and the book has a lot about reincarnation in it and it moves really really quickly so good book definitely recommend you check it out now the next book is called grievers i am actually going to do this with another book coming up probably next week it has just a different take on some dystopian stuff going on so i won't talk too much about it but really good book really interesting disease that it talks about in the book another book is called luster now this book is very beautiful i love it i don't know if you can see it like big hair <laughs> really like it this came recommended to me by another booktuber i can't even remember who it was this book looks like it's about Eddie who basically makes a lot of wrong choices when it comes to her sexuality and I guess she meets some guy and then she meets his wife. So I'm thinking she's gonna be learning a lot about herself. So we'll see what this book is about. This next book is called My Monticello. 
It says, a young woman descended from Thomas Jefferson and Sally Hemings, driven from a neighborhood by a white militia. A professor is studying racism by conducting secret social experiments. Oh my gosh, <laughs> on his own son. And a single mother desperate to buy her first home as the world hurdles toward catastrophe, fighting to survive in America. So, we shall see. This next book is The Immortal Life of Henrietta Lacks. I know this book has been out for quite a while and I've wanted to read it and I have finally taken the plunge. Um, if you have not heard of this story, just Google Henrietta Lacks. From my understanding, it's about a black woman back in the day that her cells and her family cells were stolen for research and a lot of the benefits from that research is still prevalent today and nor her nor her family was given any sort of compensation for that so i'm excited to see what this book has to offer um i know that there was a movie made by it as well i do like just flipping through it that you have really big print i don't think you can see that but you also have where did i just see that you also have pictures included in there and i think these are real true life photos of the lax family so i'm excited to check this out i think it's going to be a really good historical novel or is it a novel i don't even know if this is a novel or a documentary anyway another book that i picked up is open water it's a tender poetry love song to black art and thoughts is this poetry it is not poetry it is beautiful powerful novel about the true and painful depths of love achingly beautiful love story potent insight into race and masculinity that asks what it means to be a person in a world that seems you that sees you only as a black body this sounds like one of those books that is going to make me cry but i am here for it open water another book i picked up is called wings of ebony so this looks like it is a YA novel from my understanding. And basically you have a person who is half God and half human and her mother is killed and she goes to live with her father and that there are kids being forced into violence. So it looks like she is going to try to save people and be the savior. So I'm excited. I think this cover is absolutely beautiful as someone that has has not seen a lot of black fantasy in my lifetime it is nice to see somebody that looks like me especially on this beautiful cover so I'm excited to to read more about this one another book that I picked up <laughs> this is actually for someone else okay but it's called did you hear what Eddie Gen done um it is let's see from the moment his unspeakable crimes were discovered, the story of Wisconsin ghoul Ed Gang gripped the world's imagination with mythic power. Let's see. It's immortalized in the forms of Psycho, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, and Silence of the Lambs. Okay, so it looks like this is about a murderer that is true. And another one that I picked up is Brandon Sanderson's Dark One. And I have never read any of his books, but this one is a graphic novel, very beautiful, very bright colors in this particular book. So not doesn't look like as much writings are in here. So I don't know, we'll see. We'll see what I get to, but I plan to try to read most of these sooner than later. So that is my haul of nine books. We'll see what happens. <laughs> okay, I'll see you later. I got some stuff to do and then I got some reading. Bye-bye. <laughs>
open water. Yes, filming on my cell phone. I figured I would talk about this before I go to bed because it is midnight, very late. But this book is about two young people of Ghanaian descent. They are in um, England somewhere and they develop this very slow, slow, slow burn over romance. Very poetically told, you know, lots of descriptive words about romance. But the book is very good. It talks about police brutality. It talks about how a lot of black men are not in control of their destiny due to being profiled. Um, it speaks a lot about the vulnerability of black men and how they are reluctant to show that vulnerability to other people, especially to the women in their lives. One thing I did notice is that there is a lot of talk about Ubers in this book. So Uber, are you sponsoring this book or what? I was not a fan of of the point of view that this book was told from so luckily it was short see it's kind of thin otherwise i probably would not have have finished so this book was very good i mean it, it just wasn't i think my type of book i like something with a little bit more action i think this author has a talent Ooh, my hair is a mess i have been through some stuff today <laughs> anyway okay i'm here to close out this blog this has been a busy few days and I need to close this out. So we have My Monticello, very interesting book. It talks about belonging for minorities in a world where you feel like maybe you don't belong and there's a lot of circumstances that are working against you. So you have the first story that I liked a lot and the last story. The last story is My Monticello, which is a novella and the first five are just, you know, little short stories. And the first story is about a black guy who wants to create the perfect black kid based off the model of all the things that make a white male desirable in society. And it was, it was pretty interesting. And you know, he found there's definitely some differences there. I didn't like too many of the stories in the middle. They were just a bit abstract for me, but they were written well. Now the main novella, Monticello, is about India who is a direct descendant of Sally Hemings which is the slave girl that Thomas Jefferson had an affair with and had six children by. And there is some sort of racial uprising in her city in Virginia. And so her and a group of other people from the neighborhood, mostly minorities, flee to Monticello, which is Thomas Jefferson's plantation. And while there, she starts to have, you know, starts to feel some type of way about being there and her history. And it was shocking. Some parts about this book really upset me. Um, as an African American, I did feel some type of way as well about some of the things that I learned, but it was definitely a good history lesson. I did think that it was interesting that he owned over 600 slaves and that he thought that even though the institution of slavery was brutal for blacks and made tyrants of whites, he still thought that black people People were dirty and weak and unable to take care of themselves. But interesting novel. I definitely think is worth checking out, especially my Monticello. You will learn a lot about some American history and maybe some directions that if we don't change some things about society that you never know where we may end up. So good book. Um, I did attempt this graphic novel by, what is this, Brandon Sanderson's Dark One. I did not get very far. <laughs> I've never read a graphic novel before, and this was an experiment for me that I 
failed at. But I did learn that I am not much of a graphic novel person. I think that it is just too busy. You know, I like my words and to get immersed in them. But with this novel, you have a lot of words and then you have a lot of pictures and you need to pay attention to both of them. And maybe my attention span just isn't there. But it has nothing to do with this particular book. I think that it is illustrated very well it has an interesting plot just kind of back and forth and I got confused but this one's basically from my understanding I read like maybe I don't know 20 pages into it um, you have this young guy Paul who is seeing a therapist because he believes that there's some sort of danger and for the most part people are in danger if they're around him and then it skips to his mom who is I guess some high-powered attorney that's defending some guy that she believes is innocent but her law firm wants her to take a plea deal totally injustice and then I guess one guy that's in her law form is part of some I don't know some sort of dark underworld <laughs> type thing and I guess there's some correlation but just just not for me and another thing that that did kind of throw me off as well is you know how when you have comics you have these lines that go straight across I mean, I was reading like back and forth and being confused, but you need to go down. Just, okay, not for me, but you know what? It's, it's, it's done very well. I do like the heart bounds type as well, not flimsy. And the last book we're going to talk about is Did You Hear What Eddie Ginn Done? <laughs> I guess this is based off, I guess, Texas Chainsaw Massacre type background anyway this book was not for me this was for a friend that did read it and it is very hard to get a review out of somebody that is not a booktuber because you know as booktubers we like to talk but other people are like oh it's good it's fine so I just got out of my friend that it was good. It speaks about some true crime. It is gritty and that it's a fun read. That's what they said. Now I see that is as black and white. I think the pictures themselves are a bit grotesque. I mean, there's pictures of like a naked lady in here. Just this dude's eating and just his mouth is all full. Just kind of gross but <laughs> it looks like it's a very fun horror true crime type novel i think the depictions of the people look really 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 good like you can see their facial expressions but definitely not for me and this one actually has a whole lot more wording than this dark one as well so this one's black and white this one's in color so it shows to goes to show you that graphic novels come in all different types and once again I like the hardbound types comics back in the day used to come in them little flimsy magazines and for somebody like me I would tear that up but graphic novels are not my thing I think that I'm going to stick to my stick to my words you know <laughs> so okay well this is the end of this for me this is going on long enough I'll see you later I hope that you're having a great day and I'm gonna go take a walk <laughs> bye bye